Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Today, I wanna to show you how I went from this to this, using nothing but a self-cleaning oven and some bacon grease. I wanted to show you my cool find. I was getting ready to do a run to the dump the other day, and in the junk that I was hauling was a box full of old pots and pans, and most of them were complete garbage. However, I found this old beast right here. It says GSW number eight, made in Canada. And if you can see it, it says fry pan right there. I don't know where it came from, what was wrong with it or whatever. There's no cracks. It seems like it's in great shape. Let's flip it over and show you here. A little bit of rust, just a little bit of buildup, but uh, I don't have a lot of experience with cast iron. So today you're gonna follow me along while I restore this cast iron pan, while I strip it down while I re-season it, something I've never done before, and we're gonna see if we can get it, you know, seasoned enough to be able to act like a non-stick pan while we cook, and while we fry eggs in it at some point. Uh, process, I asked on social, what was the best way to do this? I had, you know, 100 people respond, and I probably had 20 different answers, but the one that came up as the simplest and the easiest was put it in your oven on self-clean. My oven needs a self-clean, so we're gonna try it. Ooh, I got the flakes off that. That actually worked really, really well. I'm gonna open the door, let it cool down for a little bit. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take it into the, I'm gonna let it cool down for a while. Then I'm gonna put it in the sink. I think I might use some coarse salt. That seems to be what a lot of people have recommended. And give it a scrub with a scrubbing sponge. And you'll see, I think that's gonna clean up really nice, guys. Okay, so check this out. How cool is that? Careful, I'm not burning the sponge, but it's cleaning the whole bottom of that pan. Just trying to be careful not to accidentally like, you know, hurt myself here or <laughs> burn myself really good. That's cleaning off really nice. So there, there's the fry pan GSW number eight Canada. I get it in there, give myself a little bit of water. It's still really hot. So try to cool it down a little bit. Some people might say don't do this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Get that in there. They said the hotter you can work it, the better off you'll be. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing this down. Ooh, try not to burn my fingers. Rinse it out a few times. Give it a little bit of coarse salt. So there's the coarse salt. I'm gonna give it a bit and go around in here. Let's go from there. with some napkins and paper towel and get let it dry really really good go from there little tiny teensy bits of rust there so this being my very first go at this I'm happy with that check this out strip down <laughs> inside there is like smooth as glass that is really neat Okay, we got a little bit of leftover bacon grease here. Uh, maybe too much. We're gonna test it out. If anybody's hollering at me saying that's way too much, Tim, I can always scrape it back out. So into the pan it goes. I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna use this old rag and we're gonna wipe it all through, get it all covered. Into the oven it goes for 15 minutes, wipe it down again, and then in the oven for an hour. Okay, so I don't wanna set it down, but I'm gonna put it in the oven, face down. I got a tray right here. They said just a nice thin, thin layer of oil. In this case, it's reused bacon grease. In the oven it goes. 15 minutes, take it out, wipe it, back in for an hour. Okay, 15 minutes in. We're gonna take it out, give it a wipe down, put it back in for an hour. Okay. There we are. Let's take it out. Pretty good. We're obviously going to do multiple passes in the oven with it, but this will be it for today. Sorry, I'm just trying to read some of the 
All right, guys, we're back out in the workshop, and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the actual process I used in case the video showed some of it, but I wasn't real specific in there. I asked on social what the easiest way to do it was. I watched a metric shit ton of YouTube videos, and the process I came up with worked really, really well. Into the oven, on a rack, you can put a pan underneath of it if you want, on the self-cleaning function, let it run for three to four hours. Um, do it when your oven already needs a self-cleaning, and then you're not actually spending any real electricity at that point. Take it out, brush it off, you know, the hotter the pan is when you work with it, the easier it's going to be to clean it. So, you know, wear an oven mitt and then use like a scouring pad to brush all the flake material off. Then into the sink with a little bit of water and some coarse salt and scrub it all the way around. That's what got it clean. Then dry it completely, as complete as you can. While it's still a little bit warm, use some leftover bacon grease. That's what I used because we always have lots of it. And rub it all over the pan, top and bottom. Get it all in really good. Then take a dry paper towel or a rag and try to wipe all of it off so that all you're leaving is kind of a streak free shine just kind of a half shiny finish into the oven at 400 for 15 minutes haul it back out give it a good wipe i didn't do that once and what ends up happening is you get spotting on the pan then back in the oven for a full hour then take it out, let it cool off. Repeat that process as many times as you want. I ended up doing it three times. It worked really good. I've used the pan a bunch since, and the bacon's still sticking just a little bit. Got to add a little butter to the bacon or the eggs or whatever. But uh, maybe if I'd have done it four to five times, it would have been even better. But the process worked super slick for me. And if you run your fingers along the inside of the pan at this point, it feels smooth as glass. So I hope that clears things up for you. Uh, if you want to know more about who I am, toolmantim.co right there is the quickest way to find it. Find me on social. If you got any questions about this, throw them in the comments below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Stick around. I have three podcasts, live podcasts or recorded podcasts every single week on here, talking about the preparedness lifestyle, interviewing interesting people from around all aspects of the preparedness community. And then I have two review videos or informational videos a week centering on tool and gear reviews, backup power generators, things like that. So guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.